Hey everyone and welcome to the YouTube channel Light Sirens Action. Today you have tuned in on a Medication Monday and if you don't already know what Medication Monday is, it is a quick little mini series that airs every single Monday where I highlight a different EMS drug that we administer out in the field. So I actually do this in EMT drug card format. Some days it'll be basic, some days it'll be intermediate, and some days it will be a paramedic level drug. I created this series because when I was making note cards to study my drugs when I was in EMT school, I just felt like the information was super scattered everywhere. So I wanted to create a more centralized location for you guys to get help with your drug cards or your pharmacology. But just like on every video, please, please, please always abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. As you guys all know, different places have different protocols, so make sure you're well aware of what yours is. Today's drug is called oxytocin. It is also known as pitocin. Oxytocin falls under the hormone class. It is specifically a pituitary hormone. So let's talk about how it works in the body. Oxytocin increases contractions in the uterus, and it does this by stimulating that upper part of the myometrium. So this decreases blood flow throughout the uterus by making all of those spiral arteries constrict and that ultimately stops whatever bleeding is going on. So unlike my other drugs, your indications, there's only one with oxytocin, is going to be postpartum hemorrhaging that continues after all traditional methods of control have failed. So essentially mom has given birth to the baby, she's delivered the placenta, and she continues to bleed. We've tried absolutely everything we can and the bleeding is not stopping, so now the administration of oxytocin has to be considered. Okay, so let's talk dosages for a little bit. Just like in every video, I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing it, but I have to say it, your dosages vary. Please abide by your local protocols and scope of practice. The dose for oxytocin is gonna be 10 to 20 units in a 500 ml bag of normal saline or lactated ringers. And you wanna set it at a flow rate of 10 to 15 drops a minute. You can also give oxytocin intramuscularly and that dose will be 10 units in one ml. But you only wanna do this when you're unable to get an IV or an IO line. So your contraindications for oxytocin is gonna be a potential of a remaining fetus. So if there's any chance that there is another baby, do not administer oxytocin. Um, whether the mother is delivering triplets or twins, etc., just don't do it. It can really complicate the natural birth process. Your adverse reactions for oxytocin are going to be chest pain, nausea, vomiting, seizures, comas, tachycardia, uterine rupture, dysrhythmias. Also, whenever it comes to determining your dose, just make sure that you titrate to the severity of the bleeding or to your uterine response. And a quick note about how it's supplied, it is a one ml vial and then it has 10 units inside of it. Okay, just a few side notes about oxytocin and a little drug interaction information that you can expect. If you give this in conjunction with another vasopressor like epinephrine, dopamine, dobutamine, norepi, etc., you can expect persistent and severe hypertension to occur. Your peak effect with oxytocin is immediate usually when it's given IV, but when you give it IM, it's typically between three to five minutes. Also, remember to administer this only after the placenta delivers and all other measures to control the bleeding have failed, like your fundal massage. When you're calling in radio report, it's never a bad idea to just include in your radio report how much blood loss the mother experienced because this is going to help the hospital determine if they need to prepare for a possible transfusion. As always, please remember to abide by your local protocol and scope of practice. This is purely informational for those in the EMS field and looking to complete their drug cards or get a better understanding of pharmacology, and it is never meant to be used in place of local protocol. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next week. Bye!